this is MJ and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this gorgeous dishcloth. It has a beautiful shell stitch border and it's worked in a really pretty shell stitch throughout. The cloth size is a 10 inch by 10 inch so it's a really great size and I think that the border just gives it a real nice extra touch. You could keep your border without the shell stitch, but I think this is just really pretty and just really fun for spring. So I've used Dishy um, and also Dishy Twist to make these cloths. There's lots of color options available. And we'll be working with a five millimeter crochet hook and I'm using a Furls Odyssey crochet hook for this project. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna begin by making a slip knot and putting that on the hook. Our stitch pattern is worked in multiples of four and we're gonna chain out 32. And now we'll work a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. We'll skip the next chain and we'll work a single crochet in the next. We'll skip the next chain and then we'll work three double crochet in the next. Our three double crochets are our shell that will be worked throughout the pattern. We now skip the next chain and work a single crochet in the next. Skip the next chain and work three double crochet. I'm going to repeat this along my chain and then I'm going to meet you up at the end. So I've worked across until I have two chains remaining. So I'm finishing here with my single crochet. I skip the next chain and then I work two double crochet in the final chain. And that's how it looks. And if you count back you will have a total of 29 stitches and that includes that first chain right here so two at the start two at the end chain one and turn so i'm going to work a single crochet in that first double crochet stitch and i'm going to skip this double crochet and in the single crochet i'm going to work three doubles so our shells are now going in the single crochets of the previous row. Then I'll skip a double crochet and work a single crochet in the next double crochet. So that single is going in the center of the shell from the previous row. Skip a double and then work three doubles in the single crochet. single crochet in the center and three doubles and it's really easy just to eyeball this as you work along that you're doing those three whoops three doubles in the single crochet and then you're just looking for the center of the shell and putting in your single so I'm gonna repeat that all the way along and I'll meet you up at the end. So I've worked my three doubles and then we're coming here to the two last doubles. So a double and the chain three. So we're just gonna work a single crochet in that turning chain. And then I'm gonna chain three and turn. So in that first stitch, 
we're going to work another double crochet. So this sort of makes the half shell on the end. And then we do a single in, we skip a double, do a single in the next double. And then we're working back into our pattern again. So three doubles in the single crochet. And then a, skip a double and then a single. So I'm going to get you to repeat that all the way along. Coming to the end, I've worked my single up in the top of the shell and we're ending with two doubles in the last single crochet. Okay, so now what you're doing is repeating row two and three for the rest of the pattern and I want you to make a total of 19 rows. So we're ending on a row three, which is an odd number. So just continue and basically we're wanting our rows to equal our width so that we have a, a square cloth. Let me just take a little measure for you. So I'm about, if you stretch it out a bit, I'm about eight inches. So we're going for about eight inches in length. Okay, so I've worked up my 19 rows. Like I say, it's about eight and it's about eight. So if yours is off a little bit, it's really okay. It's just a dishcloth. It's not like we're having to have it perfect as long as it's a square. That's what we wanna have. So now it is important, I find, that you use some stitch markers for this next step. And that saves a big headache. So I'm gonna use four stitch markers for my four corners. So I'm finishing off here with my 29 stitches. So we know that 29 stitches, we need 29 stitches down this side, down the bottom, and up the other side. But I'm doing one extra, and that's the stitch that we're gonna put the stitch marker in. So let's chain one and turn, and we're gonna start working down the side of our cloth. So I'm gonna make my first stitch, and I'm gonna put my marker. Okay, and now I want an additional 29 stitches, so including the mark stitch, I have 30. So I'm going to put another stitch right up here. And then it's really just kind of a guess as you go down to get your 30 in total. You may have to pull it out if you get it wrong the first time. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, So, so far I have 15, so I can take a look to see if it's kind of at the halfway mark and then just keep going. Okay, so I've worked down my 30 stitches and now I'm gonna turn the corner again. I'm coming to my tail area here and I'm gonna wanna put two in there, but let's do the one and then let's put our stitch marker. Okay, get that stitch marker in there. We'll do another one. Kind of get around the corner. And so I've got two, and I know, again, I need to have 30 going across the bottom. Okay, so now I've worked across 30 across the bottom. And I'm gonna start out with my one and put in a stitch marker. Two, 
two.30 up this side. We're going to start with the one and get put our stitch marker in there. Okay, so I'm almost to the end here. I'm just going to cut off my twist yarn. And I have one more stitch to make for my 30 stitches. But I'm going to change color on that last stitch. So here's my last stitch. So I've pulled up a loop, but I'm not going to yarn over with the twist. I'm going to yarn over with my solid. And you could switch this up. You could do the solid in here and then do your border as the twist, really whatever you like. So I'm going to remove that marker and I'm going to slip stitch to join. Okay, so now what we're going to do is in all of those stitch marker stitches, we're going to put three stitches and then we want to put our marker back in the center. So we'll chain one in that very first stitch, work three, one, two, three, three. So in the second stitch is the one we're going to put the marker in because that is the center of the corner. And now you don't really have to count as long as you've been accurate the first time around, you just wanna work across to the next marker. So that makes things a little bit easier. And that's why I love the markers and it really will keep you on track rather than trying to count through the whole thing. So I'm gonna work all the way down to my next marker. Okay, so I've worked my way to this marker. I'm just gonna take that out. Then I'm gonna work three single crochet in that stitch. One, two, three. And then I'm gonna put my marker back in the center one. So one, two. So that one's the center. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna work all the way over to the next marker, do three, so I'll work this off camera and I'll meet you up again. Okay, I'm to the next marker. We'll take that out. Work three. Go back into the second. And then keep working up to the next marker and do the same thing. Okay, so I've worked all the way around. And now what we're going to do is slip stitch into that first single crochet to join. Okay, and we'll chain one and work a single crochet in that first stitch. So now we'll take the marker out and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put three single crochet in this marker. One, two, three. And then we've got to go back and put the marker not in the first one, but in the second one, because that will be the center of the three single crochets. Okay. And we're doing the same thing all the way around. We're going to work all the way down to this marker, put three, 
and all the way around the cloth. So I'm going to work this up now off camera and then I'll meet you up at the end. So remember, every time we get to the marker, we're doing three and then we're putting the marker back in the center of those three. Okay, so I've worked my way back around. I'm going to slip stitch in that first. I'm going to chain one. And in this stitch here, the next stitch, I'm skipping over that one, I'm going to do a single crochet. I'm going to remove my marker now. And in the marker, I'm going to do three double crochets. In the next stitch, I'm going to do a single crochet. So this is completed my one corner, a single, three, and a single. Now I'm gonna skip the next stitch and I'm gonna do three doubles in the next. So this will be my shell. I'm gonna skip the next stitch and in the next stitch I'm gonna do a single crochet. I'm going to skip the next stitch and then I'll do three doubles. So this is how the border is going. So we're skipping, doing a single, skipping and then doing three doubles. Okay, so see how that's coming along? So I'm gonna work all the way down and you should be ending with a single crochet here before your marked stitch. So keep working and then I'm gonna meet you up here. Okay. So here we are and I've done my three skip and see the single should be right before the marker. So I've taken my marker out and now we'll work three doubles in the marked stitch. And then in the next stitch, a single. And then that's our corner. And then we skip and do three doubles in the next. and we'll skip and do a single crochet. So this is how we're working the border now. The side will work exactly as the first. We'll work all the way over to the marker and you should be ending with a single crochet before the marker. So you can complete now working all your sides and then I'm gonna meet you up at the end. Okay, so I've worked my last shell I'm skipping the last stitch and I'm just going to slip stitch to join. And then we can just fasten off. And then all these ends here, we just need to weave these in.